Yo, yo, we are back in After Effects. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to create this halftone effect right here with some flickering text behind our subject. I guess this looks really, really hard. And this effect is actually inspired by Xrora. On his new edit, he did this effect right here. So big sound up to him for the inspiration. And I'm just trying to recreate the effect right here. Before we get more into the video, I'd just like to let you guys know about the buy one, get one free sale going on my site right now. Yeah, if you go into my site and add like two packs to your card, you will get one for free. So you can add something like essential effect in your card and get like 3d model pack for free so if you are interested i'll link it in the description this soil is going off on few days so hurry up and grab it right now so to start off in my timeline you can see i have this clip right here on my timeline it is actually two duplications so if i hide my background layer as you can see my subject is actually already rotoscoped out so just rotoscope out to your subject first if you don't already know that it's like a really simple process so you can just search it up if you want to learn it like rotoscope tutorial or some shit right there and you will find it really easily but as you can see after you roto out your like subject from your background just select your rotoscope and firstly on our rotoscope layer we'll be adding a sapphire effect so right here just add sapphire halftone right here if you don't have sapphire i really recommend getting sapphire it is an external plugin for after effect and it is really dope all of my editing pack also uses sapphire so it is really a bonus point but in here we just gonna lower down the dot frequency first as you might already know so something like this as you can see it, it instantly makes it look like it's like a comic art or something like that yeah i guess that looks cool right there around like 284 on the frequency and now of course you can change the color to whatever you like for me i'm just gonna go with the color zero where it's black and just i'm just gonna like try to match the color that xrora uses so I'm just gonna go with something like this, like a pink color right here. And I'm also really sorry if I butchered Xrora name. I don't know how to exactly pronounce that. So I'm just like mumbling it off, but you get the point. But anyways, maybe something like this. Xrora also used a color, something like this right here, maybe a little darker. Yeah, something right here. And it instantly makes it look like a cutout and like a mixed media animation right here. That's what I love about this effect right here is it also looks like it is like a mixed media effect but it also has that digital vibe in there which i really love but in color one way it says white you can also set it to a lighter pink i guess something light so we get the vibe you know what i'm saying so something right there maybe something like that not think too crazy on the colors yeah i guess that looks hard and after you have that going you can add like a curves and put this before the half tone actually and you can really like mess with the curves to get like different like half tones you can see we get some like pretty crazy result if we only like play around with these curves right here i guess this right here looks hard so yeah that's easily we have the half tone effect already going on now we're gonna add the invert effect on our background so for that a lot of people mistake to use like a uh, invert right here and it absolutely looks terrible as you can see instead of invert we'll actually be using colorama right here colorama and go over to where it says output cycle right here and go over to where it says preset and just set it to negative right here on the none and that easily we can see we have that like extra invert type of effect going on i guess this looks really hard maybe i'm just gonna go over to my roto and just like play around with the color of the pink a little more maybe something like this maybe a little saturated you know what i'm saying so something like this yeah something like this i can say right here then now you can select your background layer again and after the colorama if we have something like uni voice you can add uni chromatic aberration right here and what it will do is add that chromatic aberration on our background i guess it really fits with the vibe of the black and white and give it some like saturation you can say and that right there looks really hard now our background and our subject is pretty blend in so to separate it and to pop out our subject actually like our subject rotoscoped our subject what we can do is add a stroke so to make a stroke just go which way says layer right here and scroll down until you say auto trace make sure you have selected on the roto layer actual roto layer that you have the rotoscope effect on and just hit auto trace right here and it will bring up this auto trace you can hit preview to preview yeah that looks fine right there and make sure in time span you have it as work area and in channel it is as alpha and you can just copy these effect on the value like the tolerance and all this good stuff 
and just hit OK and let it do its thing for now. It will start auto tracing. And after your auto trace is done, you can just enable this path visibility right here and just bring up your marks and you will see we have this like cool animated marks around our subject going on some of those marks are pretty unnecessary so i'm just gonna delete one of these and one of these as well and i guess this is the outline one then after your marks is done just add an effect called stroke in your like the roto layer again and in path it will automatically select it as your marks and then you can just play with the brush size to get the stroke right there you can see uh that right there maybe something like seven or eight on the stroke size maybe we can lower it down a little more so six on the brush yeah yeah that looks hard for sure then actually after that you can add like a drop saddle and just bring up the softness on the drop saddle and you can play with the opacity as well and you can see after that we have this pretty basic effect going on uh you can rock with it for sure but we're gonna spice it up so as in the intro i showed those like flickering text so to make that just right click on a blank space go to new and in text just make your text right here i'm just gonna, gonna like text text layer right here and you can just scale it up or maybe something like this i'm gonna change the font to prompt so it is like pretty simple so prompt bald right here yeah that looks hard uh maybe lower it down a little more so yeah, as you can see text layer right here and just trim it to one frame because we want it like flickering you can actually write anything you want in here your artist name or the song name or your name whatever you like but for me i'm just gonna put this behind our roto layer so it goes behind and then you're gonna hit ctrl alt home in your keyboard to bring up the anchor point on the center and you can just go over to align and just align it on center right there maybe something right here and then after that hit s to bring up the scale and just like unlock the scale and just stretch it uh something like this so we get the all red type of vibe you know what i'm saying with the text like the all red cover art if you are like a playboy cardi fan as me but you can see we have the text going on you can actually duplicate this put it one frame forward so it like flickers in right there and you can even like play with the stretching to get different looks so as you can see that looks hard and again around like here i'm just gonna duplicate it again and just place it right here maybe stretching it you can also try like switching out the font get like different vibes so prompt right here looks hard and maybe i'm just gonna stretch it a little something like there little something like there and i'm just gonna copy this once more put it right here maybe put it like two frames scale it up more scale it up right there and maybe one more or i'm like here and it is like pretty low so something like this maybe something like this and in this i'm just gonna set the blending mode to overlay so we get this like cool like overlay type of effect you can even add like a drop shadow to give some depth in there so you can really like play around and see what works the best but you can see that looks really hard right there text is done you can do some final touching by like pre-comping all of your clip into one so pre-comp it by selecting all of those and hitting right click and then pre-comp as always and a little sauce you can add in here is rsmb and just lower down the blur amount to 0 0.1 right here 0.1 so the rsmb you will have some motion blur in there especially around those like flickering text i guess it looks a little smoother as some scale animation so just like a scale animation right here zooming it at the front and easy is those go into graph make a graph like this in value graph for sure so we have a zoom animation like there i guess it really spice up the effect and you can just turn on the motion blur then after that now to finish it off we're gonna add another adjustment layer and in this adjustment layer we we'll falsely add like lumetri color and then you can go with basic correction and play with everything right here so you can just play with these right here you can play with the temperature to give it a little like a bit like alloy stone i guess extra i also use like alloy stone so let's just go for that right here uh, maybe contrast a little low and highlights a little low as well not gonna lie and now lastly after your lumetri color add like a noise in here and just uncheck the noise color noise right here and just bring up the noise amount right here uh maybe that's too much a little like five or four or nine 
Yeah, I guess that looks hard. Maybe you can even put this before the Lumetri color to give different results. But with that, I guess our final result looks something like this. So that's it for today's video, guys. If you like this video, please consider hitting the like button. And also go over to the description and download my editing packs because I got the bow going on right now. It is ending pretty soon. So just like take the offer and grab some editing packs. Follow me on Instagram, do all that good stuff. And I'm going to see you on the next one. Peace.